Now there are two main key terms that you're going to need to know for AQA biology and this is what is a monomer and what is a polymer. Now a monomer is a single structure or unit of molecules which can join together to form a polymer and a polymer is a structure made up of multiple monomers bonded together. Monomers and polymers. There are different abbreviations for monomers and polymers, well mostly polymers, as you usually have a word that's in front of the polymer such as monosaccharide or disaccharide. But what do these actually mean? Well mono means one, di means two, tri means three and poly means many. Now what are examples of monomers? Examples of monomers are amino acids, glycerol and fatty acids and antibodies. Example of polymers are lipids, polypeptides, polysaccharides, and polynucleotides. And what are the different types of bonding that are in the course? Well, these come up more in proteins and like protein synthesis and such, such as covalent bonding, ionic bonding, and hydrogen bonding. Well, hydrogen bonding also comes up in DNA, but anyway, I'm just gonna explain it is what it is now so we don't have to do it later basically. So covalent is basically when two non-metals join together to form a bond. Ionic is when a non-metal and a metal reacts to form a bond and hydrogen bonding is a bit more complex. It's a weak bond because it's not really a bond, it's not an intermolecular force and it's because one side of the molecule is very negatively electronegative such as oxygen, for example. And because it's so negative, it draws the electrons to that side, leaving one side very negative and the other side very positive. Now, because of this arrangement, it causes attraction between other molecules, between the positive and negative side. Now, there are two types of reactions that break and make subunits, which are polymers and monomers. And these subunit and these reactions are hydrolysis and condensation reactions. Now, this is an example of a condensation reaction. I didn't want to use glucose yet because I don't want to confuse anyone. I'll do that in the next video. But yeah. So as you can see, there are two OH groups, which are located here. So because of this, we know that they need to be bonded together. So how can we do that? Well, in a condensation reaction, a molecule of water is extracted. So if we look at the equation, we can see we have two oxygens and two hydrogens. Well, in H2O, which is water, you only need two hydrogens or one oxygen which leaving, leaves oxygen behind. So as it leaves an oxygen behind, that is what's gonna be now replaced and bonded to the other C as well, creating this bond and a water molecule. Now that's all there is for this video, but next video we'll be talking about monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. Thank you for listening.